Hey, welcome to the Information Show. We're here at Vintage Stock at 68th and Memorial here in the Village Plaza. If you haven't been here yet, folks, this is the best place in town to get your CDs, DVDs. They've got t-shirts. They've even got autographed footballs. They've got lunch pails. It's an excellent, excellent place to get your vintage items. We're looking for Aaron. Has anybody seen Aaron around here? How you guys doing? Welcome to Vintage Stock. Hey, what's hey, going Aaron? on, man? How we thought we'd doing? roll on by. Yeah, I didn't know you guys were going to roll on in. Well, you know. Hey, what do you got going on in here? Well, Vintage Stock, it's business as usual. All right. You want to show us around? Absolutely. Let's All go. Right, let's go. All right, let's show you around the store. Great. Uh, Vintage Stock started in 1980. This company called The Book Barn. Uh, ten years ago in 1994, we moved to Tulsa and it changed into Vintage Stock. And since then, every store we've opened has been named Vintage Stock. Um, about 1994, I believe, the store burned down. We moved across the parking lot for a few months while they were rebuilding. As you can see, we're back open for business after ten years, still going strong. You, um, now, okay. You've got everything here. Oh, yeah. Even posters, the movies. George Romero's classic Dawn of the Dead. Outstanding. Dawn of the Dead. I like that. Hey, you know, nothing beats a good zombie movie. Oh, no way, yeah. Except redneck humor. Now, when uh, you said the building burnt down, I mean, was you part of that? Or? Uh, I wasn't here with the company then. It was just, uh, I believe it was arson, just something around the uh, disgruntled ex worker, we believe. Well, it wasn't really. <laughs> uh, just, it was arson and uh, just kind of shut us down and dampened our wow. spirits just for a few months. But, you know. You're you back can't, in and. Yeah, yeah, you can't keep us down. All right. Too many video games. Good. Oh, lovely. You've got right. license plates, little signage. You've got a little bit of everything. No, 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 Batman. Aaron, it's quite impressive. This is your pop culture mecca. It's cool, and you know, it's that vintage stock. What's your number one seller? Uh, right now, our number one seller is going to be video games. Uh, they're going to make up about a third of our sales every month, easy. Uh, the great thing about video games is so many systems out there, not only the new systems, but the older systems are well, still popular. And there's lots of great games for every system out there. You can see we've got PlayStation, N64, Xbox, Super Nintendo. You know, we've got all these things. Some retro, we got Jaguar. We have Atari 2600 sometimes. Now, are these uh, used boxes? Absolutely. Uh, what a deal! $29.99, $44.99. Yeah. Absolutely. Our customers are great. They can come on down. They can bring their old video game systems. They don't play anymore. Maybe their kids moved off to college, you know. Uh, they can bring it down. They can trade it in for some of the newer stuff. You know, they can sell it for cash. It's what a great, great deal. Absolutely. Now, how did you get all these? People brought these to you? You, you bought almost, them from I'm people that already had them? I'm yeah. Okay. Just That's come great. right to us. And, uh, they come in, it's like, hey, I'm tired of this game, I want to try something new, and we're more than happy to help them out. That's cool. I like this. It's I like, like your jerseys over there hanging from the ceiling. That's good. You got Brown, Snyder, Largent, Montana. Montana. Are those yeah. real, Aaron? I mean, come on. Every one of our memorabilia comes with a certificate of authenticity. Oh. So you're guaranteed that that's an original and legitimate sound signature. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, show us some more around anybody. Okay, school. great. We're just now on just a little bit of it. Uh, we've got packs for sports cards. I know football season's coming up. I know everyone's yeah. excited. Oh, cards. We've got, we've got Beanie cards. Babies over here. <laughs> Beanie Babies are great. You know Look what? All that. You get a whole... These are great. Some little girl here. comes by. Oh no! Don't sees one of these. Just a squirrel. <laughs> oh, I'm just an alligator. <laughs> but I'm the Christmas, whatever it is. Beanie Babies. These were real popular for a long time. They were, and now you know they're just still they're cool little toys. You know, how are you gonna say no to your kid when she comes up and says she wants this alligator? That's right. You know, these are great. You know, That's some great. security blanket at night for the little kids. Ooh. Spider-Man Spider hasn't missed a Spider meal, Spider-Man needs to yeah. hit the gym, pal. <laughs> he needs to do a little cardio. He's busting <laughs> out of those tights there. Yeah, yeah. 40 years Spider-Man. Wow. Spider what do we got, got over it? here in this case? Uh, over here in this case, we got a uh, Brian Bosworth autographed football. Oh, um, yeah. I like that. I think we got a Michael Jordan rookie card in here, Brave and the Bold, uh, number 28, first featuring the first appearance of the Justice League of America. We've got a Framke Jensen autograph from the X-Men movie. Wow. Uh, we just got Billy Sims autograph mini helmets. These are things are great. Man, if you're a sports fan, this, this is, the place is the place to be. To be. You've got to be here. You've got to put this on the birthday list, Christmas list, just a gift that brings the kids down. 
Looks like everything's very reasonable and you've got a full stock of everything we can Absolutely. see. Absolutely, got a knowledgeable staff. Are those Tyco race games back there? Indeed they see? are. Oh, wow. and Let's go it, check those. They yeah. still yeah. work. Do you have any great. set up? Look at all the Star Wars memorabilia up there. Wow, if you're a Star Wars collector, this is a place to get everything you want. Right here you got Barbie dolls, uh, Planet of the Apes, Mm. I don't oh, see any evil everything. Knievel, Aaron. Indeed, there's one right here. Oh, there Let he is. Show you this one. Evil Knievel Migo. <laughs> Look at Very that. Good played with. That is just. Don't touch. Oh, sorry about that. Evil needs to take his uh, suit to the cleaners. Looks he like. He does. You know, he's he looks like he wrecked in that one one too many times. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor McCoy, pal. Doctor, I think you've got a broken bone. That's He's like, excuse me, Eva, where do you get your clothes cleaned? I don't know, but you've got great hair. <laughs> Thanks, I just had a pedicure. <laughs> Can we get that weapon out of the case there? Absolutely. What is that? This is a 1985. Oh, that is made out of transformer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't know how to unlock these things. I just locked these like last night, too. This is horrible. That's okay. Aaron, do you really even work here? I mean, you know, you just, people, you well, like there's us. a guy out yeah. back named Aaron that's got a black eye and he's passed out and you stole his name. I tell you what, I am here every single day. I oh, love great. this place. So people can come in and just ask for you. And come you can... in and ask for me. I'll be more than happy Whoa. to help you out. And if I'm not here, I live a mile away. Any of the employees here can help you out. They give you a call. I'll give me a call and I'll be here in just a moment. So you're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that's <laughs> just me. <laughs> Those are something. That's great you don't, service, though, Aaron. You don't really see these every day. Comic books. Fantastic Hulk number four. three, Fantastic oh, Four, wow. Amazing Spider-Man. Got some old Mad magazines up here too. Swamp Thing. <laughs> I think we got some books here, maybe even older than you guys. Hey Probably now, I just hey, got out of high school. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Look at all that. That is amazing. Captain America. Yeah, this is great, man. Sin if you want to come subscribe, yeah, uh, what we'll do is we'll set your comics back for you. You know, every Wednesday. When the shipments come in, we'll pull your comics. You know, you just come on down and pick them up, wow. and uh, that's me. guaranteed to get your books. Do you have a website? Uh, absolutely, it's vintagestock.com. So they can go there and send you an email and say, "Hey, reserve Star Jammers for me, or reserve yes. JSA, or I want a Flash comic book, or I want the Firestorm M series, or Mystique Pulse, whatever it may be." Whatever it is, you just can send do it to it. me. We'll get you on a list. And we'll get you hooked up and just save 10% off your books. That is great That's service, great. folks. You this bet. is a great place. You got to bring the family out here to Vintage Stock. I haven't seen anything like it in the city of Tulsa, and I've been here a long time. You've got three other locations, or just two? We got two here in Tulsa, and we got a total of ten stores. Wow. We got one at 41st and Yale, and also one at 71st, 145th, and Broken Arrow. I bet wow. they're all different. That's the great part about Vintage Stock is every single store is unique. You can make an entire day of it. Oh, I'm telling you, man. You visit our 41st Street store, then come here, then hit our Broken Arrow store, your Saturday's gone. That's awesome. That's great. That Looks like awesome. you've got a lot more things over there. Should we go oh, there and check it out? What do you all got Let's go. There? Hot Wheels! Hot Wheels lead the <laughs> way. Look at that. We got them right here. Look at all those. What's going on here? We also Dirt got clothes. Star Wars figures. Again, Star more Star Wars. Wars. That's nice. We got your old Luke on your father, Jedi, and going on here. Obi Wan Kenobi, always a hot seller. Anybody got a refill for my Pez? You remember that candy? Yeah, that's, Don't that's that one of my favorites. <laughs> Be kind of scared to kind of attack it now. Well, that's one of the things we've got. We've got some older garbage trail kids, you know, cards still in the packs from the yeah. 1980s. And, you know, kids are coming, oh man, I want these garbage trail kids. I'm like, don't eat the gum. Don't that's the first thing they yeah. do. You oh, hear some wow. crunching yeah. going on. Yeah, note to sell. Don't, <laughs> eat the don't eat the gum. We got Randy White autograph, Ina Slaughter, Bob Lilly. You know, even got Lieutenant Uhura from Star Trek. That is just that is incredible. cool. Kiss, kiss box set. Oh, yeah. Uh, the monkeys. Kiss. ACDC. Aerosmith. The gods of rock and roll. The monkeys. Right. You got the Beatles. Yeah. Look at all the Beatles stuff. Look yeah, at the Beatles this, LPs, guys. Man. Look at this. Beatles will never go out of style. No, never. You got some Phil? Oh my gosh, it's Phil Collins. He's my favorite. No autograph, please. Aaron has been awesome with us here on the Biff and Mason show. And um, I guess, I don't know, you got anything else you want to visit with Aaron about? I just want to say thanks for having us. And again, I want to tell everybody, bring your whole family. There's something for everybody here. It is, it's just a plethora of neat stuff from the good old days. Um, 
Thanks. It's being a good old days. Do you have any old video games we can play or anything like that before we leave? Well, I don't have any games, but I got something for you to do. All right. All right. Let's, Let's go. Do Hey, you're watching the Bitformation Show. We're here at Jamba Juice at 5956 South Yale, right here in Kings Point Village. Hey, Eric. Thanks for having us. Nice. Welcome to the Bitformation hey, Show. Nice to meet you guys. Eric Kowalker, manager of Jamba Juice. Tell us a little bit about it. Jamba Juice has been here since uh, first of the year. Um, it's our second store. Our other store is at 71st and 169. It's basically an alternative to fast food. Um, for those people who are trying to get a little bit more in shape and to eat a little bit more healthy, and it's a great opportunity to, uh, to do that. So you can put an entire meal in a cup, make it whatever flavor you want up here. You've got Orange Divine, you Jamba Power Boost, Berry Lime Sublime, Strawberry Tsunami. Tell us a little bit about this stuff. What happens is our original size right here, uh, 24 ounce, has four to five servings of fresh fruit. You can't beat that. A lot wow. of Americans today don't get that much fruit. Um, in a month, I know. Exactly, in a month. And you can get it in one, in one drink. Um, but for our drinks, we have functional flavors, that's basically a smoothie that's going to have nutritional supplements put in it already, protein, vitamins, energy. Um, we have banana, we have berry bliss, citrus sensations, tropical getaways. We have lots of flavors. Basically what it comes down to is what you like the, you know, the best. That's so, all right. This, uh, you got some... A uh, lot of choices. A lot of choices up there and everything has fruit in it, is that right? Everything's got fruit. We also have what we, have what we call enlightened smoothies, which are our um, Splenda base drinks third the calories, a third the sugars, for those people who are trying to watch their, you know, their calories. So Everybody's doing that these days. A little bit so. of everything. So Eric, somebody like me is trying to bulk up, I've got to have a lot of protein. Can you do that in one of these shakes? Yeah. We got, if you look right here in our functional flavors, we have a protein berry pizzazz that's coming in with about 24 grams of protein. Gotcha. Already in there. Plus, uh, you get a free boost in every drink. Protein, seven more grams. So you can put as many grams of protein as you want in your drink. That's great. That's, I'll tell you what, I'm ready to have one. My lady, she went downtown. She bought some broccoli. <laughs> she brought it home. She chopped a broccoli. She chopped a broccoli. She chopped a broccoli. She chopped. <laughs> hey Eric, can you make us a protein shake? Let's do it. We can go back to make some right now. All right, let's, let's go. go. Do we need the aprons? Do we need the wash oh, Do we need the hair pads? All right, protein berry pizzazz. It's going to get 14 ounces of soy milk. 14 of soy milk coming up. How many pads yet? How many ounces do you think you go through a day? No, we probably go through a lot. I couldn't tell you, but we quite a bit. Fill that thing up. Now it's gonna get strawberries. Green bags. One more? Yep. And then two scoops of bananas. The green. The green, yep. There we go. And a scoop of protein. Big mounding scoop because we like a lot of protein in our right. works. What kind of protein is this, Eric? Soy protein. All right. Go Looks good. A scoop of ice. Lid. Take my pick. Yep. Put a lid on. Here's the lid. Take your pick, your choice. Pick number one. Is that simple? That, is, that wasn't that too was bad. Easy. I'm ready for the outcome. How long does it take? Are we going to fight over it? I think Boom Man's going to come in and get it. I something. think Boom Man is definitely going to get this one. Yeah, thank go. These are high speed humans, aren't they? Yeah, these are very nice. Uh, these aren't your normal kitchen blenders. Absolutely not. Three, Three two, one. 
Instant. All right, there, there we you go. have it, bro. Joe, how you knock it in that cup? That looked like a real skill to do that. I want to hear the bongo drum. Okay, let's do that. So the fruit's frozen, Eric. The, yeah, the fruit's frozen. It's called IQF fruit, individually quick frozen. It's uh, picked, frozen, all in the same day. It's all separate? Yeah, so there's no added sugars, no added anything to it. Now you guys buy a lot of fruit, right? I yeah. Think it. yeah, Jamba's the number one buyer of strawberries in the world. Turn around and he's trying to get a phone number or something. Do you? He's just working the system. Yeah. Sorry that he bothered you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to stay away from the patrons. You're watching the Biff Mesh yeah. Show live. So, a lot of strawberries. They're not messing around. That's fantastic. Boo Man? Are you out there, Boo Man? <laughs> if the Boo Man likes it, it's good. You like Boo Man? Have Boo Man live. Eric, thanks a lot. You're hey, busy. You've got no a good problem, crack going. We're going to no get problem. out of your hair. Yeah, appreciate thanks it. Coming, guys. Thanks hey, for having us. Come back in time. We hey, certainly you, will. You kind of taught us a little bit about uh, how to make a protein drink. Is there anything else we can do? I mean, we'd like to learn a little bit more. Kind of the I real can show you some of the real secrets of John, but starts right there at the sink and the mop bucket. Who wants what? Mason show. I'm Fox Scooter's here at 15th and Florence, and we're in here to see Sasha. There she is right there. Hey, Sasha. Hi. How are you? I'm Mason. Mason, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Biff and Mason Show. Hi. What do we got here? A lot of scooters. Yeah. A lot of two-wheeled vehicles. Uh-huh. <laughs> they look tell dangerous. They are very dangerous. <laughs> well, tell us all about it. Well, you have to be a wild person to ride a scooter, first of all, like me. And you got to have to have fun. You want to have fun, so... I see that you've got a lot of different colors, a lot of different styles. Uh, gosh, are these American made? Are they imports? Tell imports. us a little bit about them. Imports. America doesn't make many scooters. I don't think they make any, actually. I've got Indian bikes, Taiwanese bikes, Chinese bikes, Italian bikes. Indian's the most popular, though. Wow. Show us one. Yeah. Show us one. Well, this is an Indian bike. A Stella? A Stella. Yeah. Vespa design. Italian design, you know, the great old retro look so two stroke what, 150 what does the g stand for genuine scooters okay. genuine scooters makes stella and you all are at 15th and florence mm -hmm. and you've been in business for how long we've had our birthday the 15th so congratulations all right. happy yeah. birthday Thank you. and now all of them aren't motorized some of them are electric is that right well, i see there's a whole these are our electric line we do have a couple of the gas powered for those who want to go a little faster but most of these are electric is there an age limit for riding these? I mean, as far as legalities or... Well, to ride one of our street legal scooters, you have to be 14 years at least. Yeah, but okay. you know, some people out so in the they, country, they'll 
you know. Push that. Break right. the law, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I told you, you have to be wild. <laughs> so they don't have to be 16 to ride one of these. No, if they want to ride one, if a parent wants to buy one for their child, and, and I know here in Oklahoma you need to be 16 to get your driver's license. Right. So they could get one of these. They can get their motorcycle license at, at 14. At 14, yeah. and they're good to go. They can ride a 50cc, old, anything lower, all the way up to 250cc, which those go about like 85, so. Wow. But the parents can govern her those back so they don't exceed 85, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet a lot of parents come in to get their kids scooters and wind up getting themselves scooters. They do. I've had lots of stories where people come in and, well, they take one home for themselves as well. Well, we see a lot of these scooters out at the biker bars. They're getting more and more popular. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm ready to go ride one. Let's uh, show us around a little bit. We, you've got stuff over there. Yeah, we and, deal um, with um, electric bicycles. We've got some electric bicycles over there. Um, then just some of our other lines of scooters. People, you know, they either want a sporty scooter, retro style scooter, a Euro, sleek looking scooter. So those are like mopeds. Do you remember the mopeds back we in the We have 80s? a moped. See that blue thing over there? That's an old 78 Peugeot moped. Peugeot, Peugeot. Yeah. yeah. Let's go look wow. at it. You want to look at yeah. it? That's the year I was born. Me too. Well, that looks like it came over on the Mayflower. <laughs> wow, look at this. Look at that old metal basket. That is a new basket. Woo. That's not a 78. Oh, it's not? Okay. Yeah, the rest of it is. And this is for sale? Yes, it is. Well, we... Yes, it's for sale, but I don't like to... This is vintage. Say it's for sale. I got gotcha. you. I go get my conies on that thing. Dude, that is cool. I, I love like it. That. It's got yeah. a coney basket. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that too. This that's is the new neat. style moped. Well, that's electric. Yeah, the mopeds are gasoline. That one's electric. Oh, okay. It's electric assist pedal, so you pedal it and it'll kind of kick in for you. It's really kind of fun. Uh, how many uh, miles to the uh, kilovolt can you go on one of those guys? Well, let's see. This one. This one goes about 25 miles at 14 miles per hour. And they're legal. These are legal wherever, wherever uh, bicycles are legal. So you can ride those in Riverside, which my mother-in-law does. Wow, what a good deal. Now what was this? This looks like a windshield with tires on it. I mean, look at that. It's like, whoa. That's an Italian scooter. That's Malaguti. They've been around since the that 1930s. So Malaguti? Malaguti. Malaguti. It's comfortable. I like this. It's a very nice scooter. Now it this is, okay. Actually, it's a faux spare tire. You can stick your purse in the back. How about a 12 pack of beer? 12 pack of beer. Put his purse back there. <laughs> yeah, you know me and my handbags. <laughs> I like this. The only this scooters nice. that come with an actual rear spare tire is the Stella and the Bajaj. So really, if someone's looking to save money on fuel economy and just want to run errands around Tulsa, this is what they should be buying, right? Oh yeah, that's what me and Gas my husband are. Gas is way ride. up there and you should my buy husband, a husband, we have a Bajaj, like mm -hmm. the white one outside actually, his gas went from $30 a week down to $3. Wow. Wow. And um, what's the price range on one of these? Well, it depends on the brand. My uh, cheapest scooter is a TNG Venice, and that starts at $15.95. That's out the door, no taxes. That's very affordable. It's very affordable. And my most expensive scooter is out there, but this one's a pretty expensive one. It's $4,200. Three hundred dollars more, and you get the very expensive one. That's a good-looking bike. What does insurance cost on those ones? My insurance is eighty dollars a year, full coverage. You just can't oh, meet that. Wow. No. If you could ride them year-round, I'm sure that you all we have do. chaps, leathers. No, we wear jeans. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys offer a finance program here? Do you? If someone came in and said, "I want that," we have there, financing, and they're like, "Yeah, yes, okay." Yeah, but I always say, you know, go to your bank; they'll give you a better deal. Oh yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> All Just right. put it on mom's credit card. Exactly. You know yeah. what? I've Charge had it. people come in and they'll be like, hey, can I borrow your credit card? And so. And they can happens. be the prettiest woman in the whole wide development. The American Express card. Don't go into Tulsa Scooters without it. <laughs> sure. It's our best friend. All right. This is nice. Well, you got yeah. helmets over there. You've got accessories, t shirts, mufflers. Everything. You've got everything in here. And they're such a hot item, they put bars on the windows because they're just stealing them like hotcakes. Dying to get in here. Dying to get in here. Yeah. So they have to put bars up to keep people out. That's true. That is great. I'm still ready to go ride one. I can't wait. Well, you can. I'll let you. Are you, are you wild enough? <laughs> I think I may be. 
Are you wild enough? No. No, I'm, well, I'm, the, I'm the calm one. <laughs> well, I've got bicycles. Cool, that's what we want. Okay. I like that little tiny... The puka? The puka. That's my favorite. That's my kind of ride. Yeah. Well, you showed us around, and we really appreciate you letting us come in here, and you get a chance to talk about Tulsa scooters. Biff and I always like to help out everywhere we go, and, and you know, kind of learn something. Is there anything that we could do to help out? You could show us something, you know, about I'm your great business. Mechanic, I, I can. I do have spokes. some bikes that need to be worked on, and some bikes that need to be cleaned. I don't know. Well, let's go check it out. Sounds great. Okay. You're a good looking guy, don't you die on me! Mwah. This is Boo Man's. Boo Man needs cleaning. Boo Man hungry. I got my Harley and the fit vibes too. No more blues, I'm in a party mood. Well, I'm going back to Tonsa. Blue House Media and AV Productions, full service creative studios.